Hey, this is Joette with ballooncoach.com and today I wanted to talk to you about a topic about investing and taking time to work on your business rather than in your business. So upcoming from the time I'm shooting this in 18 days, we are going to be in Orlando for Balloon Boss Summit 2020. And I get excited every year when I put on this live training because it's a time for instructors to come and learn from each other and be in the room together where so many educational events in the balloon industry, the instructors are running around doing four different classes and they don't get to have time to interact with the other instructors much and learn from each other. So one of the things that I love about Balloon Boss Summit and getting to sit down to create a roadmap to success is that not only do the attendees get to learn, but our instructors get to learn from each other and facilitate conversation that happens throughout the day so that you're actually taking a break from those daily tasks of running your company to actually work on a plan for your business. So I want to invite you to join us November 8th through the 13th in Orlando. And the cool thing is for the first time ever in the history of Balloon Coach is you can actually join us online live during the event or actually get the replay of it um, if you're not able to join into the live classes. So if we haven't met, I am Joette Giardina. I'm a CBA and I'm also known as Balloon Coach. I started ballooncoach.com in 2015 when I had so many people asking me questions of Joette, how do you stay so busy? You always have pictures online of events that are going on. How are you marketing and getting those um, clients? And my husband said, if you're going to spend that much time answering other people's questions to help them with their business and take time away from our family and time away from your business, you need to get paid. So in January of 2015, I sold Party People Events, became their marketing manager and let Jonathan Gerber take the reins and grow that company with all the other companies he purchased, allowing me time to focus on creating the dream trainings I always wanted for the industry. So what I like is that it's not about just coming and learning from me, but it's about learning from other instructors in the industry. I have my dream team of instructors for 2020. Our diverse team is from people who work from home to people who have large shops and people who work for them. So you can learn from folks who are making $50,000, $100,000 a year from balloon sales to people who are making $200,000, $300,000 a year in sales to people who do over half a million dollars a year in sales and balloons. And when I started in the industry in 2003, I had no idea that there were people who were being able to bring in that much retail sales and balloons at a time. So each day we have round table discussion where you can talk to the instructors and pick their brain and we work on balloon building techniques for profitable balloon decor and creating business systems for growth. Our instructor team this year is coming to you live in person in Orlando for the majority and of a few of our team will be coming virtually online to interact with you and develop their training. So if you can't be at Summit in person Orlando, we've saved the best seat for you. And that is any comfortable seat in your home or office that you can spend time with us over that six days live online, interact with us as long as you sign up by this Friday, which is October 23rd, I'm able to get you a workbook printed ahead of time. If not, you'd have to just download it online and print it yourself. But you can pick to be with us live online, live in person Orlando, we have a few seats left for that, or you can watch it after the fact with your full paid ticket. It's all the same ticket price. So here's the thing. We're kicking off with a keynote speaker on Monday. Her name is Laura Foote, and she's talking about the magic to be found, identifying your strengths and applying them through a Disney customer service lens. So Laura is an amazing professional photographer, used to be in Tampa and now is in Kansas City. Um, Kansas, I believe, or Kansas City, Missouri, right on that border. 
and she is phenomenal about helping people identify their strengths. And she actually did a free webinar for me over the last several months. So if you'd like to get to know her a little bit better, you can go check her out on my YouTube channel. But I'm excited that, when, that Laura is gonna kick us off thinking about that customer service area and our strengths. And then we're going to, on Sunday, our first day hands-on part, is we're gonna increase your confidence in building frames and the skills to build profitable balloon decor. Gary Ledbetter on the left in the yellow number was uh, created on a frame that the, with the balloon stands nine feet tall. He's made a worksheet for you to do all the numbers, zero through nine, where you've got the um, exact sizing that you need to cut things with. And what's cool about his nine foot numbers is you don't have to do any welding. So that class alone is worth the price of admission because people are asking me all the time how to do that without welding. And then the Toyota letters. Chris Potts is going to teach us how to make letters that are seven foot tall and that are four foot tall working with different types of materials that you can buy at your local um, home improvement stores. Then we have increasing your framing and balloon building skills with we'll using organics, trending designs, and linking sculpture. Liz Romani, who's being sponsored by Vitalik, will be sharing how to make a watermelon slice, how to make a house, and how to do linking walls. Sarah Meyer on the left, who's being sponsored by Qualitex, she will be sharing with you how to create organic designs and other trending designs that she's been using. And I'll back up for a second. Gary Ledbetter is being sponsored by Tuftex. Thank you, Tuftex. And then Chris Potts is being sponsored by High Float. And the High Float samples just arrived today. One of the other key points that happens throughout the week is that you get to focus on having professional photography made of the beautiful balloon decor that we create so that you now have that in your member area to market and sell with. Melissa Vincent is being sponsored by Anagram, giving you tips and tricks on foil decor and year-round sellers, and that is always a hit. And then during the hands-on build, we're gonna get on with tools so that you know exactly how to make things. What's fun is then throughout the week, the balloons stay displayed in our hall and in our classroom and get moved around for you to be able to dress up and take fun photos that you can use in your marketing to having staged photos where we have a table set so people can understand that the decor you're creating can be used for their upcoming celebrations like New Year's Eve, Christmas, birthdays, and more. It's fun and fellowship time, and I know this year in the midst of social distancing, our pictures will look a little bit different with us staying apart or doing them individually, but the whole camaraderie of hanging out in a space with like-minded business professionals just makes you feel good. And I feel that now more than ever that we as an industry need to come together to learn from each other and support each other. So our group photo will look a little bit different this year. We will have a mask on and we'll be standing six feet apart, but we'll still be in the same room together. Most recently, I went to some networking events here in Lakeland, Florida and some events with um, brides for bridal fairs. And it was just so nice to be in a room and hear the echo of people laughing and talking off the walls rather than just having a conversation through Zoom. And I do understand for those people who are concerned about traveling or unable to travel right now because they're having to take care of their kids, homeschool teaching them rather than being in the classroom, that even though you may not physically be with us in Orlando, you're gonna be with us there live and through Brandon Turpin, who is sponsored by Balloon Suite, he's gonna be one of our moderators from the room so that when our people who are watching the class live online from home have a question, Brandon will be your voice, raise his hand to the instructor and shout out your question to the instructor. We are also gonna have chats going on on our phones through our private Facebook group for you to be able to ask questions and network with the people who are at the event virtually and in person. On Sunday night, we're having a kickoff with karaoke. Instead of holding the microphones, the mics will be on their own individual stands. We will have things to clean them down. And again, we will be observing social distancing during the event, you get to pick your bracelet. I have yellow, red, and green bracelets so that you get to choose that you would want people to stay six feet away. Yellow means an elbow bump is okay. And then a green is that hugs are welcome. 
because everybody has their own experience level that they feel comfortable with. During the event, some people will sit at their own six foot table and others will be four people per 72 inch round. So typically at a 72 inch round, you have 10 people. With social distancing guidelines, we're able to put four people at a table that puts you six feet across from the other person and still being able to have a conversation with the people around you while wearing your mask indoors in Orlando. Final night celebration this year is gonna be out of this world. And yes, we have balloons from Anagram, Vitalik, um, Qualitex and Tuftex that are going to make some fun space out of this world designs. And then thanks to Party People Events, Jonathan Gerber, one of our instructors, will be bringing his shimmer walls with us to shimmer and shine, which is a huge trend right now. And we'll have our balloon designs combining with those shiny shimmery walls plus other photo ops that are created with balloons from our manufacturers to make it a special evening. And our final night celebration on Thursday night, I have a live um, singer, um, piano player, guitarist that's coming that is phenomenal. So we can relax or you can use your um, dance floors. We're gonna have two dance floors up for social distancing so you can still groove and enjoy yourself. Um, what I mean by creating a roadmap to success is so many times in the balloon industry over the last five years as a business coach, I have found that many of us as creatives have a hard time writing things down and making a plan. And so through my trainings, my live trainings and my online training in Balloon Boss Mastermind, I've learned to help people identify what it is that they currently need to work on and what they want for their future. And sometimes that's hard because we often have a mindset of limiting beliefs where we don't think that things are possible for us that other people have achieved. So by coming to an event like Balloon Boss Summit, it allows you to be in the room with real human beings who have their success stories of people who are brand new in the industry. Last year, one of our instructors for this year, Sharita, had only been in the industry under six months. She came to our event in Orlando. She took the ideas that she learned there and she immediately applied them. In the midst of social distancing and schools closing down for distance learning, she was able to land a contract for 28 schools to purchase graduation decor from her because of the skills and knowledge that she learned at our hands-on training and the business information and her savvy combined to create those sales. And then she went on and gave us a free webinar on it. After that, she was talking to our instructors who talked about how they had done stuffed balloons and sold them. And over the last year, she's done over $12,000 in stuffed balloons. So that's going to be another one of our stations on Sunday is Marlene Potts will have the stuffing tool along with Sharita, and they'll show you their tips and tricks to stuffing balloons putting the right things in there, figuring out the price point to sell it and get people's attention right in time for Christmas. Then you've got um, Valentine's Day, Easter and Mother's Day all right around the corner. And we'll have the photos of those stuffed balloons that you've created on Sunday and then staged them throughout the week so that you've got professional photography to market those ideas with, to hit the ground running when you get home. So creating your roadmap to success is not just about learning how to make the balloons or what the right price point is, but a roadmap to success is saying, okay, let's set up this action step. If I'm wanting to make um, balloon deliveries for the holidays, and especially for Christmas, that doesn't mean that I wait till the week before Christmas to put up an ad. That means that right there from the training, from our group discussions, from our evening time workout sessions, you can actually use the professional decor that will be in your member area as a paid ticket holder. You'll be able to watermark it, you'll be able to edit in Canva, and you'll be able to send it out on social media right then and there and start accepting orders. Last year, Tabitha, who's pictured here on the left, that's one of the things that she did is she learned about these adorable elf and putting them into a stuffed balloon. She made a sales sheet up. She put it out there. She went to Brandon Turpin from Balloon Suite. He helped her automate things. And she started getting orders from her seat at training because she took time to work on her business rather than just always working in our business. 
So um, the top picture is Chris sitting there talking to other people. Again, this year, it's gonna be a smaller group, one person, I mean, four people at a table having those conversations, or if you're at a six foot table on your own, we'll just turn around and talk to the person next to us. But you're gonna be able to write your plan by picking the brain of the instructors that are there and asking questions. And I'm so excited about that. Felicia's saying so excited. Um, and um, people are saying that this is so helpful. Glad that you like this information. So the next thing I wanna just share with you guys is that if you're one of those people who's been on the fence and you're not sure if it's the right step for you to come to Balloon Boss Summit 2020, or if you can take time away from your business, I want you to think about when are you gonna take time to work on your business, okay? So if you're not able to join us for Summit and you're um, not able to make the commitment financially for this event, then what I want you to do is start a savings plan today. And that from every job you do, increase the cost of that event by 10% or by $5 or whatever number you wanna use. But start an educational fund now so that you can join us in Orlando for 2021 or that you can go ahead and jump in because right now the doors are open through October 31st for my Balloon Boss Mastermind program. And in my Balloon Boss Mastermind program, it's an online program where you get to interact with me with the Facebook group and I help people identify their goals and provide over $5,000 of online training and support to help you on the way. The difference is you don't have that super energy burst of everybody being in the room together like we have in Orlando, but we do have our own energy level within our mastermind program and a group of mentors that will help you out there. So what I encourage you to do right now is if you've been on the fence for joining us for Summit, go to ballooncoach.com, click on Summit, and then use the coupon code when you go to your view cart, type in the word October in all capitals, and that will save you $600 and bring you back down to $19.97, which was our previous um, cost for the event. So what you can do is for $19.97, you will have access to all of the hands-on training on Sunday, all of the classes throughout the week, and then whether you're there live in person or online, you'll also have access to the replay afterwards because on Sunday, during our live hands-on classes, we have 10 stations going on over a six hour period of time. Impossible to get to all those stations at once. So what's an added bonus is for my people attending live this year is you don't miss out on anything because all of these classes are being recorded and you'll be able to watch them later which is awesome. And Denise is saying, do it. If you're on the fence, come to this training, just do it. So again, whether you get training with me and come to this event, or if you get training with someone else, the number one thing for you to do to grow a thriving balloon business is to block out time in your daily schedule to work on your business and not just in it. So what do I mean by that? I mean, if you're one of those people that has a long to-do list that you never get to, that you pick one thing a day to focus in, or even one thing a week, that you're going to make time that no matter what, that one thing's going to happen. For some people, it's that you don't have a website yet, and you need to get a website. The great thing about Balloon Boss Summit is you get to hang out with Brandon Turpin from Balloon Suite and pick his brain and ask questions about, is his website form the right one for you, and that his team just takes care of it for you? Or is there some other form out there that'll help you out? Because he still gives amazing online presence information through our trainings. You know, another thing with working on our business is sometimes we don't take time to interact with our customers and we're not sure how to find them. So it's making time in our schedule to get into a networking group or to spend time online to research the people that you want to do business with so that you can grow the know, like, and trust factor. The other thing about working on your business is that you need to have focused time where you don't have distractions. I know so many of us pride ourselves in being multitaskers and getting so much done, but the studies have shown that if you are a person who multitasks, you're actually reducing your productivity by 40%. Let me say that one more time. If you're a person who's multitasking, where you've got something going on, on your phone, you've got something going on, on your computer, you're talking to somebody, 
you are reducing your productivity and getting things done by 40%. So if you want to create more time, then focus your time, even 10 minutes on one project at a time, and then don't let anything else get in your way until you have that done and then go on to the next thing. So I've given you a couple of tips on working on your business and not just in it and taking that time away from all your busyness and block off time periods. See what time of day you're most efficient and then put that time in as like, this is my new do not disturb time. I'm not gonna listen to my phone. I'm not gonna talk to the kids. I'm just gonna do my business during this time block and pick out the time during the day that you're the most energetic and the most full of um, brain power to get those projects done quickly. For some people, that means you do it first thing in the morning, you wake up 30 minutes or an hour before everybody else so that the house is quiet or that you can go to sneak off to the office and get it done. For other people, they're night owls. And so that means after all the kids are in bed, spouses watching TV are in bed, that now you block off that time at night to do something before you go to sleep. So now you end your day like, yes, it's done. So you have to decide what's best for you and how you operate. Some people are most productive during that lunch hour. And so they'll eat at their desk and then get a project done. So the bottom line is, I want you to invest in working on your business and help you in 2020 strong. If you would like support in creating your roadmap to success, I encourage you to go to ballooncoach.com today Check out Balloon Boss Summit. Our full schedule is on there. The hotel room is just $99 a night. You can register by using the coupon code OCTOBER, all caps, to save $600. And if you happen to be watching this and somebody who's been to one of my events in the past and haven't signed up for this year yet, send me a private message. I'll give you a special um, code. All right, great question. MV is asking me, where is this taking place? And this is taking place at Disney Springs Holiday Inn Orlando. Normally, the tickets are um, $134 a night, but it's only $99. So I'm going to show you. Go to ballooncoach.com, click on Summit where it says Learn More, and it'll take you to the page about the event. Now you can go to Register Now. You can download the schedule. And then it's at Disney Springs Holiday Inn. And as you go all the way down and you go to the pool, the pool has the reserve your room today link. And you just click on that and type in the date that you're arriving and the date that you're leaving. Um, we start our classes on Sunday morning at 9 a.m. And we um, end the event on Friday at 5 p.m. So it's six full days of training. And here's the other thing. A couple of people told me, hey, Joette, I want to be there on Sunday for the hands-on, um, but I then have to get home because my kids are learning from home right now, or I have a second job, and I can't be away too many days. Is there a way to do both? So yes, you do have the option of telling me that, hey, Joette, I'm going to be there on Sunday for the hands-on part, and maybe Monday, but I have to leave Tuesday. And then what you can do is watch the rest of the training virtually, and then also catch the replay if you work a full-time job during the day or too busy with the kids. Felicia's saying, do it, it's so worth it. Yes, uh, Felicia's been with me at a live training I held in Atlanta and she's coming for this. Um, she waited and planned and saved and followed and now I'm ready to attend the summit. Oh, thank you, Felicia. Felicia is one of my Balloon Boss Mastermind members. And so one of the things that I always encourage people is if for some reason Summit doesn't seem like the right fit for you for this year, then I want you to go on to ballooncoach.com and take advantage of the fact that doors are open right now for Mastermind. And we only open up the doors four times a year. So you get in, you can end the year with a strong, creating a plan to keep you moving forward through the holidays, having access to training on how to do balloon drops, pop drops, um, and other seasonal decor and photos to help you sell. So in our Balloon Boss Mastermind, you just click here and it's only $97 a month. And you know what? You can do both because I have a lot of my Balloon Boss Mastermind members who are actually gonna be joining us in Orlando and virtually for Summit this year. The bottom line is, is surround yourself with positive, uplifting people that help you move to the next step. One of the things that I find so many times with people is that they often 
surround themselves by people who are negative Nellies. And that negative will make you be negative and not allow you to make your dreams reality. So if we haven't met before, I encourage you to go to ballooncoach.com and click on my blog. We have three tips for having a successful bridal fair. This is a bridal show that I worked with our um, lead designer and office manager just a few weeks ago in Orlando. We had so much fun at this event. So I gave you some tips on how to prepare for one. Why are people ignoring your balloon business? Do you ever feel like people are ignoring your company and don't know why? Here's some great information on that. And now for those of you coming to Orlando, this is Pack Like a Boss. And you simply click on this and it will tell you what to pack, how to prepare, and um, the things that you need to do to make the most out of this investment. One last thing that I do want to include for those of you coming to Orlando to hang out with us is that the more that you can prepare to not have distractions, just like we talked about time blocking and being more sufficient at home, is when you reduce the distractions so that you can fully participate in the training, whether it's at home or with us in Orlando, it's going to allow you to get more out of the experience. So if you're gonna be doing it from home, see if you can have somebody watch your kids and help them with their homework. Um, set up reward systems for them for not bothering you during that time. Or say, okay, these certain classes I'm gonna be live on and these other ones I know I'm gonna watch the replay. So you can um, get that all figured out. And the number one thing to bring to any training event is an open mind to learn new things. Here's the thing. Our instructors have been doing this for decades. I look at this list of my dream team and the fact that Belinda Barrier has been doing this for um, over 10 years and it's much more than that. She has a team that works for her from the get-go. She hired somebody to work for her while she worked full-time to build her business up. Um, she has an amazing following on Instagram and people have taken her from Jacksonville, Florida and flown her to New York to do balloons for them for like, uh, Martha Stewart and some book signings and other large cool events there. Stuart Davies is going to be doing it virtual this year because he's from the UK. He was live in the room with us last year teaching and is amazing. Scott De Lorenzo is phenomenal with how to take a concept and build a business because Balloons by Tommy was built by Tommy and he was home based. And then Scott said, hey, let's dream bigger. Let's have staff, let's have a place. And they expanded in Chicago from their home to a space. And then they even expanded to the next level. And they now have a branch in California. So he knows how to dream big and to work with a team. Jonathan Gerber is the person who purchased my company and several others in Florida. And I always think of him as a balloon boss because his goal is to have other people running his company so he can spend time with his family and doing the things that he loves. Um, Gary Ledbetter being sponsored by Tough Decks. He is the MacGyver of balloons. He has been all around the world with this really cool guy named Guido Verhoff, where they have done structures that are stories tall, where they have to use a crane to lift up this huge dove flying in the air that is mind blowing. And he's the one that goes as the MacGyver of balloons to make sure that that rigging stays up. So he's gonna be telling us how to make those numbers and circle frames and other things how to bend the pipe correctly and the measurements we need so that we can confidently build frame that we know is going to be sturdy. Sarah Meyer from Qualitex, I'm so excited about her because I met her four years ago at one of my first trainings that I did in Chicago, Parade Promotions and Profits, where with Balloons by Tommy, we did the Chicago Pride Parade for two years. She was in our first session of that, and at the time, she was a face painter. She hadn't been working with balloons. It was her first time working with rounds. She fell in love with it. And now she has built this amazing um, brand messaging with Wisconsin Balloon Decor. She works a full-time job. She's a mom of a one-year-old. And she just told her story today in Balloon Coach Community about how four years ago she came to that class. And now she became designer of the year. She's grown her business. She's bought two vehicles. She is rocking it because she took the information she learned at the events and she applied it took her talents and just exploded. Chris and Marlene Potts, they are, have been in the industry for decades. They run over a half a million dollar a year company and in the midst of social distancing, they did what they had to to pivot their business and to keep that incoming, income coming in. And they're gonna share those tips and tricks. Thank you High Float for sending Chris again this year. Sharita 
she is a superstar. She was in the audience last year as an attendee after just starting in the industry less than six months prior, and she has skyrocketed. She has really built a need and a desire for her balloon decor. And so she is going to be a bombshell for you to hang out with and get a little bit of her enthusiasm. Liz Romani is being returning for Vitalik. Thank you, Vitalik. Liz will be talking about how to find your target client and how to latch on to them. And then she's also going to be sharing those tips and tricks on Lincoln balloons, which will be phenomenal. John Rockmore is our videographer who will be providing video throughout this entire event for you guys. Brandon Turpin with Balloon Suite, he talks about online presence and how to make sure people are finding you. And then in the evenings and on Sunday, he's going to do tech talk. So you could bring your laptop, sit down with them and say, hey, I don't understand this. This doesn't make sense. Help me out. Melissa Vinson, she is so great at working with different types of foils and looking at them in a different way. And she's going to show you how to put your personality into the designs you create. And then Gail and Paul are phenomenal. They started coming to my training back in 2016. And then each, the first year was just Gail, the second year Paul came with her. And now the snowball has happened where they are doing great with their business. They retired as nurses and now they're doing balloons as something they love and enjoy. So I cannot wait for you to either be live in the room or live online to go through this system of being able to increase your confidence, your skills and your knowledge and to help you build that roadmap to success because on Friday, what we will do is we will sit down together to create your vision for the future and from each day during the week, you will have put together that one top takeaway of the day that you want to put into action when you get home. Because here's the thing, I've been going to trainings since 2004. And so many times I see other people go to those trainings and then not take action. And it's because we become overwhelmed and there's so much that we could do, we don't do anything. So this year we're making extra time every single day to have that round table discussion with a couple other people in the room and to physically write our roadmap to success so that when we get home, we know what the action plan is. And when life gets crazy and the phone's ringing off the hook and our family needs us, we can go back to our roadmap to success and go, oh, that's right. I learned about this a month ago. I'm going to do this. I set a deadline. I'm going to meet this deadline. I'm going to do this. And so you're going to take those tips and hints that we've learned from our people and our alumni in the past, and we're going to keep moving forward one step at a time. Bottom line, guys, the tips from today is block out negativity in your life, set up times for time blocking to work on the things that are most important for your business, and understand that there's a difference from working in your business and being busy doing business work and working on your business on the things that are going to help people know like and trust you as a business and that build you the supports to be a true balloon boss. And what that means is what happens if tomorrow you can't go into work because you're personally sick or your spouse is sick. I speak from experience with a husband who had a heart attack five years ago. If systems weren't in place and the Jonathan hadn't bought my business, I would have had several clients who were really upset with me. I had staff that worked with me. They didn't have everything together. So now what's nice is being a part of a larger group that knows, you know what, if something goes wrong, there are other people in our team that can access all the information and go take care of our clients no matter what. So we help you set up those systems so that you've got that backup plan so that even if you're not able to personally serve your client, that you train up somebody else who can, even on an as needed basis. Being a balloon boss is setting up that there are no limitations and that you can excel and create any scenario you want for your future in balloons, but you have to be willing to open up your mind, listen to other people who've come before you, take the pieces that make sense for you, and then create your own journey. Because we each have our own reason of why we are a balloon business owner. We all have different motivations and different expectations of our company. But by learning from all these amazing people, we can pick out which one's right for us. So guys, that's the overview of what you need to do to work on your business rather than always in it. And I would love to see you in Orlando coming up November 8th through the 13th in Orlando. If you have any other questions, send me a private message or email joette at ballooncoach.com. I look forward to seeing you soon 
in Orlando or online in my Balloon Boss Mastermind program. Take care and have an amazing day. Take one step today that your future self will thank you for.